welcome to my channel Cancer Moon Oracles. My name is Rosa and I am coming in with your weekly love reading where in this video we're going to take a look at your energy and the energy of your person, whoever it is that you're currently connecting to and dealing with in love. This is a general love reading. If it resonates right now, feel free to show some love towards the channel. Remember, roles can be reversed in today's video. If you feel that your messages are not here, please check out your other placements. Or alternatively, you can always just tune back in next time when I upload a new reading for your sign. Happy Solar Return, Scorpio. I do hope it's been a wonderful one for you and many blessings for the upcoming 12 months. I do apologize for the noise in the background. I live in kind of like a, sort of like an apartment block, but not really. And um, you can hear my neighbors in the background, little, little children in the background playing. Okay, we're gonna look at your energy first, Scorpio towards the person that you're connecting to. Okay, Nine of Wands is the opening with the full Six of Cups, King of Cups, Ten of Cups, the Magician. Okay, you may be dealing with an Aries or a Water Sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Let's have a look here, what's going on? What's going on for Scorpio? Hmm. What is going on here for Scorpio? I don't know, I'm kind of getting this energy here for you, Scorpio, where you've turned your back on somebody. Feels like with the fool, um, I'm seeing a connection here with the Six of Cups, okay? So you have a connection to somebody I do feel that you have a soft spot for somebody, but you're turning your back on this person, okay? You're kind of saying here, I don't really care about this person. I don't really care about them right now. Hmm. So, yeah. Okay, it's interesting because when I look at the King of Cups and the Ten of Cups, you can still see yourself. <laughs> you can still see yourself being with them. <laughs> Don't know why I'm laughing. It's just sort of funny energy that's <laughs> coming through. <laughs> mm. I just feel with the Nine of Wands, there's maybe a little bit of uh, resentment. Well, not a little bit, but I just feel like there's some resentment that's been building up um, inside of you or between you and this person. There's definitely some kind of a wall uh, between you and them. Okay, and I feel like you're walking away from this person or you're trying to tell yourself that you don't care. I feel like it's kind of maybe like a protection mechanism. I feel like this is your way of handling the situation, dealing with maybe your emotions right now. Um, but the emotions are not going anywhere with the nine of wands not not when you're in the full energy okay because the full is kind of like you're living in the moment you're kind of just living in this um foolhardy energy of being in the moment like an i don't care is kind of just an energy of being in the moment but deep down inside with the king of cups you really do care okay because um, in the truth of it, you can still see yourself um, being with this person long term, okay? Or you still want to be with this person long term. Mm. 
I want to have a look at this Nine of Wands. Tell me more about the Nine of Wands. Why is the Nine of Wands here? Yeah, there's definitely a wall between you and this person. Um, I don't feel like there's... mutual ground if I can put it like that I, I feel like maybe there's a lot of struggle um, or there's a lot of challenge or yeah it's just a, a challenging relationship or a challenging connection it's really hard for the both of you to see eye to eye It's hard for you to come together and talk, communicate in a loving way because I feel like there's a lot of resentment. There's a lot of resentment or there's a lot of maybe anger. There's a lot of past baggage um, with the both of you. Um, the Six of Cups even speaks to like the past baggage, the, the past. You know, maybe when you and this person deal with each other, you're constantly bringing the past into the present. And it's maybe doing a lot more damage than good. It's doing a lot more harm than good. Hmm. It's not helping the cause, it's not helping the relationship, it's not helping the situation. But I definitely feel that there is some kind of an obstacle between you and your person. There's an obstacle. There's obstacles. But I feel like you and this person still care about each other. And at the very least, I feel like you still care about this person. I want to have a look at this magician. Why is the magician here for Scorpio? Why is the magician here for Scorpio? The Seven of Swords. Interesting. Hmm. Tell me more. Why is the magician here? The Three of Cups. And one more. Why is the magician here? I'll take the top one. Six of Swords. Seven of Swords, Three of Swords, Six of Swords. The thing is, is with the Magician um, and the Seven of Swords is I feel like you have tried or you're trying to manifest walking away or you're trying to tell yourself um, that you don't care, that you don't love this person, that you should leave. <laughs> um, but the Three of Cups... And the Six of Swords is here, which I feel like there's contradictory energy here. I feel like you're trying to tell yourself, look, just go, just leave. But the Seven of Swords is 
it's when we lie to ourselves. It's when we're not fully being 100% honest with ourselves. I feel like more here with the full energy, you're convincing yourself that you don't care. When really you do, because the King of Cups is here. Deep down inside, you do care. The full, for me, is perhaps there's a little bit of ego here especially when it's next to the nine of wands there's a there's a little bit of someone being sort of operating from a place of ego um, because the seven of swords is an energy of someone who is not living in truth okay it's not it's not the truth of the situation it's not really what you want you, you don't really want to um, not care about them you don't really want to leave them you don't really want to not talk to them maybe some of you do and if if that's your if you are the Scorpio that really wants to leave then it might not be your story okay because what I see here with the three of cups is there is a part of you that does want connection. You do want to connect. You do want to bond. Okay. Maybe some of you are telling yourselves that you don't care. Um, I can see here with the Seven of Swords, you kind of just like walking away from this person ultimately to see if this person maybe comes chasing after you you know to see if they come chasing after you and we see it here again with the six of swords because after all if they chase you that means they care about you and then because the fool is kind of like a childlike energy, it's like, well, who, you know, who's been the child, you know, the man child here or the, the lady child? Mm. But, you know, with the Six of Cups, I see maybe at, at some stages of your relationship, maybe both of you are behaving like children. So I'm not going to point fingers, Scorpio. I'm not going to point fingers. You know your situation best, yeah? Hmm. But look, as I, the point that I was trying to make here is I feel like some of you Scorpios are trying to tell yourself that you don't care, that you're going to leave. But the truth is, is I feel like you don't really want to leave with the Three of Cups. Okay, I do feel with the Six of Swords, though, that you, you do want a smoother, easygoing relationship. I don't feel like you want to experience, um, you don't want to experience hardship. You don't want to experience these obstacles or these challenges within your relationship you do want to experience emotional fulfillment within your relationship or within your connection you do want that you do want with the six of swords smooth sailing in your relationship you do want those things you seek those things you you yearn you desire for those that that feeling that you know what i'm saying the king of cups he longs for those things that he longs for that feeling that's this is the king of cups is ultimate this is his ultimate wish that that's what you ultimately want emotional togetherness emotional fulfillment living you know this happy um, long life with the love of your life you don't want to fight you don't want to argue
with the person that you're supposed to be with you get you you completely understand that there are supposed to be some challenges or there's supposed to be some ups and downs but the nine of wands that's heavy going energy okay that's exhausting in a relationship you don't want that i can see that you don't want that you don't care for that because with the two of cups clarifying the nine of wands it's almost like tearing your relationship apart it's ripping your relationship apart let's take a look at your person's energy spirit angels and guides please show me the energy of scorpio's person sorry we've kind of just gone a little bit over with your side but let's have a look at scorpio's person Oh, the Three of Swords, the Six of Pentacles, oh, the Ace of Pentacles, the Ace of Swords, oh, there's the Fool, the Temperance, look at that, they have the Fool too, hmm, okay. Well, you could be dealing with a Sagittarius here or an Aries. Hmm. Let's see. I want to have a look at this Fool. Tell me more about the Fool in their energy. Because you have the Fool in your energy. Oh. The Nine of Pentacles. Well, you acting like you don't care about this person is really affecting them. Hmm. Because um, it's clarified by the Nine of Pentacles, which is an energy of someone who can ultimately, you know, stand on their own two feet. This person can sense and feel that you don't need them. Um, and it is, it's affecting them, okay? And I, I say it's affecting them because they're opening up with the Three of Swords, um, and it's creating some kind of like a trigger for this person to uh, come towards you and like straighten or iron the dynamic out. Okay. I see the scales here in the Six of Pentacles, which is ultimately, you know, balancing out a dynamic because it hasn't been, it hasn't been on, I want to say it hasn't been on good terms. You know, you, you both haven't been on good terms. The Three of Swords sometimes for me can represent lovers' quarrels. Okay. So with the Ace of Swords and the Ace of Pentacles, I do see this person that you're dealing with, Scorpio. Um, I do see them wanting to just make a f make the first move here okay making the first move because they can see here with the fool and the nine of pentacles that you're not going to make the first move they can see with your energy that right now because you're in this frame of mind that you don't care about them and that you're kind of off doing your own thing 
that they're going to have to, you know, be the person that makes the first move. Yeah. Now, look, because the fool is in their spread, they have been, to some degree, acting like a child as well. Because I did say earlier, you kind of both been acting childish. They recognize it with the temperance card. The temperance is touching the fool, so this person recognizes that they've been acting childish. The temperance tells me that they are going to straighten that out fix that, sort that out, balance that out. So they're coming in um, yeah, they're being guided here is the best way to put it. Okay, so this person is being guided to kind of just put their childlike behavior to the side and be the first person here with the Ace of Swords and the Ace of Pentacles to extend the olive branch and sort things out with you. Let's clarify the Three of Swords. Why is the Three of Swords here? See, there's the Six of uh, Six of Pentacles again. Mm. Yeah. Look, this person wants to be with you. The Six of Pentacles speaks to like a, a relationship where two people are, you know, investing into each other. They recognize here with the Three of Swords that you both got into this mess. So it's going to take the both of you to kind of just sort it out, you know. Um, they, they still want you. They still want to be with you. Um, it's just going to have to take them to sort it out or be the person to approach you here. Let's have a look at um, this Ace of Pentacles. Tell me more about the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, the Wheel of Fortune. So look, I feel like they want to turn the whole... Um, situation around okay they want to turn it around yeah the will of fortune is basically turning a situation from a mess into something um, positive turning something negative into something positive okay let's take a look at I know we can see their actions here but let's just take a look at their actions more specifically Spirit, what action will this person take towards Scorpio? What action will this person take towards Scorpio? <clears throat> there we go. Wheel of Fortune. Knight of Cups. The Strength card. Hmm. The Wheel of Fortune. Okay. The Knight of Cups and the Strength card. Well, I, that's awesome because this Wheel of Fortune is connecting me with the Wheel of Fortune in their energy. Okay, so I can see here that this person will... They will, um, they will extend themselves to you. I feel like this is them coming towards you, extending that olive branch like I mentioned. Okay. And whilst they're doing that, I feel like they're going to let you know how much they, that you mean to them. I feel like the Knight of Cups is someone who is coming forward and talking about their feelings you know and also showing you with their actions how much you mean to them because with the strength card here they can see that you are sort of in this energy of really kind of just 
holding back. Okay. Mm. They know that you're resisting them or they know that you're holding back. Um, this person may even know here with the strength card that you are somewhat mad at them. Okay, but the Knight of Cups is an energy of someone who is very kind, is very caring. And they want to, they will do everything that they can to turn the whole situation around. Mm. Because with the strength card, this person can see that you have your back up, that you have your wall up. They're trying to come in and I guess get you on your good side again or get you on their good side again or something like that you know what I'm saying okay what's coming towards you in love Scorpio let's just take a look what's coming towards Scorpio in love right let's let's take a look at what's coming towards Scorpio in love the High Priestess, the Ace of Cups, the Ten of Wands. Well, the Ten of Wands is the end of the road. Okay, so you opened up with the Nine of the Nine of Wands, which is like the ultimate struggle. But the Ten of Wands is like it's it's over. It's the end. It's the end of the end. Okay, so everything that you all the challenges um, that you've been experiencing within your connection, it is at the finish line. Okay, because look what's coming in next to it, the Ace of Cups. The Ace of Cups. And that promises a new beginning. That promises to just you know, wipe the slate clean and start over. So what's coming towards you in love is this opportunity to just start over with your person. Okay, to start over. But it's up to you. It's up to you whether or not you choose to accept to forgive this person or not, to make peace with them or not. It really is up to you. Okay. Um, hmm. I want to have a look at this high priestess. The Eight of Cups. I feel like deep down inside, um, because with this Eight of Cups, I see, what I see is the two cups that are not there, surprisingly. <laughs> um, and because it's coming in with the High Priestess, so we see what we don't... With the High Priestess, we see things that we don't see with our, with our eyes. So it's really interesting I'm picking that up. So what I see here with the High Priestess is the two cups that I don't see in that card. So I feel like what's coming towards you is an opportunity, Scorpio, to really connect and bond with your special person, okay? There is an opportunity to let these, you know, 10 wands go. You don't have to carry this resentment anymore. You can choose to forgive this person. Um, so you can just free yourself and experience 
Yeah. A new beginning. Because with the Eight of Cups, you know, I feel intuitively you've, you have been feeling unfulfilled for quite some time in a relationship, in a connection. Intuitively, you, you don't want that anymore. You know it. You want to accept this new beginning. I feel it. If not for the relationship, for yourself, okay? So let's grab an advice card to close out your reading. Wow. Look at what we've got. Butterfly spirit. It says transformation is beautiful. After all, you are Scorpio. Okay, Scorpio is ruled by Pluto. We are in Scorpio season and no one knows transformation and change better than a Scorpio. That's what you've come here to do, Scorpio. Okay, so you're in a situation um, yeah, you're in a situation where you can make a change. Okay, change is upon you. Transformation can happen, absolutely. And it's saying here transformation is beautiful. So whatever challenges um, you've been experiencing, I'm feeling like, I'm feeling like you and this person are going to get closer. It's going to make your relationship go to the next level, is what I want to say. Mm. So that's what I see, Scorpio. Let me know if it resonated for you and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.